A local mom tells News 4 Jax her 17-year-old son was the person shot and killed by a police officer following a chase of a wrong-way driver in northwest Jacksonville earlier this month. She shared with us these photos of Kwame Jones. According to the sheriff's office, the shooting grew out of an attempted traffic stop and car crash on Moncrief Road. Jones's mother spoke with News 4 Jax I-Team reporter Kelly Wiley, who's joining us from the scene of the January 5th shooting. Kelly? His mother didn't want to go on camera. It's a very emotional day for her. She has to see her son today at the funeral home. But she told me the day this happened, she actually had a mother of her friend's son deliver this news to her. She says still she hasn't heard from JSO in person to deliver the news. Family is coming forward saying JSO officer Nicholas Lawson shot and killed their 17 year old son Kwame Jones. We are all still in shock is it's not real yet you know i believe when we view when we when we view him that's when it's going to become real JSO investigator TK Water says the shooting happened after officer Nicholas Lawson spotted a car going the wrong way on Moncrief Road the investigator says the car refused to stop and eventually crashed into another vehicle and then the pedestrian bridge. That's when investigators say an exchange happened and the officer fired on the two in the car multiple times, injuring one person and killing 17 year old Kwame. Police have released a picture of the gun they say officers found lying on the back seat after the shooting, but they've still not released the footage from the body camera officer Lawson was wearing. It's crazy to not even know the condition he was in, you know, what really happened. We don't know, you know, how many times he was injured, shot. We don't know anything. Today, his mother says she's viewing her son's body at the funeral home for the first time since the shooting. It's the unknowing. You know, we don't know what we're walking into. We have no information. We don't know if it was a head wound, a body wound. We, we don't know. We won't know until we lay eyes on him because no one is telling us anything. And the officer who fired shots is on leave pending an investigation. We looked into his history with JSO and we know that outlined in his discipline hearing, uh, history, he was accused of failing to conform to work standards and also of bias based enforcement. Now, the only allegation that was sustained was that he was failing to conform to work standards. Uh, we have requested the full IA report for that allegation. And when we get that, we'll, of course, put that on air and online for you on newsforjax.com. Reporting live in Moncrief, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station.